Okay, today we have the ballistic shell testing between the regular 230 grain Winchester hollow points, the basic version of Winchester hollow point rounds, 230 grains, versus the PDX-1 Winchester bonded jacketed hollow point rounds for personal protection. They're both 230 grain rounds. So the PDX-1 are known for, of course, their bonded jacket, which allows for more consistent mushrooming and less um, fragmentation of the actual hollow point. Uh, it allows the projectile to go all the way through and sustain its mass um, versus the ordinary uh, 230 grain hollow points. Uh, I'm going to be doing the testing on regular ballistics gel. This is homemade ballistics gel. The consistency is uh, very dense and uh, shows for a very consistent ballistics gel test. This test will not be done with regular denim. I know the overall ballistics gel testing is done with uh, four or five layers, I believe it's four layers of denim on the front, but I will not be doing that. Um, I want to see specifically what the round does when it just hits flesh or ballistics gel in this case, and um, I want to see what it actually looks like compared to the basic ones. So this ballistics gel test should give us a good look, so let's get to it. So it's slightly turned to the side a little bit, obviously because I'm shooting more on this side of the brick, so it's nothing too crazy, but uh, it looks like good mushrooming all the way through. The jacketing, of course, is coming off as it goes through. That's what you get when you don't have a bonded jacket. This is the regular Winchester, so let's do the PDX-1 now and see what it looks like. So because that first uh, round did not go all the way through all three bricks, I moved the third brick here all the way to the front. These are all made at the same time, they're all the same consistency, same ballistics gel, same containers, so they're all the same length. Everything's consistent. So I cut out sections of the, each brick that I shot through so we can compare them more side by side. This is the actual uh, original Winchester 230 grain regular and this is the PDX-1. So distance wise, I'm going to measure them out here in a second about exactly how far they went through the ballistics gel, um, but it wasn't too much of a difference in, in distance, but overall fragmentation and consistency was a big difference. This was the original um, basic uh, Winchester round hollow points and this is the actual PDX-1. Surprisingly, it's a little bit different than you would think, so let me get into the measurements right now. So each one of these blocks are exactly 12 inches. Um, it may look a little bit different because this one's cut a little bit shorter, um, about a half inch shorter. So, But this is 12 inches, and so is that one. This one looks to be stopping at about exactly 4 inches into the second block, so about 16 inches total of penetration through the ballistics gel with the regular Winchester round compared to the six inches in or six and a half inches in to the second block with the PDX-1. So you're looking at about roughly 16 inches of penetration for the regular Winchester round and roughly 18 and a half inches of penetration with the PDX-1. Okay, so this is the, these are both the rounds pulled out of the ballistics gel. This is the PDX-1 obviously and this is the basic Winchester hollow point. So Obviously right off the bat you can see the consistency in mushrooming is a huge difference. You got the nice throwing star look from the PDX-1, very consistent compared to the fragmenting jacket off the actual uh, projectile from uh, the basic Winchester round. I mean because it's not a bonded round so the PDX-1 when they say it's bonded, it's a bonded jacket means that the actual uh, jacketing on the round is bonded to the actual projectile so when it does mushroom it doesn't fragment as you can see with the basic round it's not bonded so therefore it starts fragmenting so with the uh, PDX-1 we have at its widest point I've tried all edges and they're all pretty much the same pretty universal we have 20.38 millimeters at its widest point of mushrooming so let's compare that with the basic Winchester all point so with the basic hollow point Winchester 230 grain, we have at its widest point 19.83 millimeters. So you're not gaining any type of larger mushrooming from the inconsistent non-bonded jacket um, when it comes to these basic ones. So now let's get into, so far PDX-1 is winning, obviously. 
and uh, let's get into now the measurements of the actual size of the cavity in the ballistics gel. Six and a half, seven inches in, you get the stopping of the actual wound channel from the PDX1, but here on the basic one, you get roughly eight inches of wound channel. It goes about eight inches, actually almost eight and a half, nine uh, from the basic uh, hollow points. The cavity in the basic um, hollow point goes in roughly about a inch and a half, inch and a half in. See if it stays consistent. Yeah, inch and a half in. The PDX1 is leaving a wound depth of about roughly. Let's see, about roughly one inch and a quarter. The overall width of this channel in the actual cavity is roughly one, two, three, about one, I'm looking straight down, you guys can't see it very well, but I'm looking right at it, is roughly one and a half inches wide as well. So it's pretty consistent, one and a half inches deep, one and a half inches wide, <laughs> who'd have thunk? And with the PDX1, at its most traumatized section is going to be about ooh one and three quarters so one and a half here one and three quarters over here so even though the depth was about a quarter inch less than the original the overall width uh, when it comes to the diameter of the of the channel itself is about a quarter larger so it's a give and take the thing that's going to take the cake right now is the fact that this channel is pretty clean. I mean, it's a big gaping wound, don't get me wrong, but the inside of it is pretty smooth. As you can see here and through here, it does tear it up a little bit inside, and there are fragmentation of the actual jacket inside the actual channel, but on the PDX1s, it is just mangled. I mean, there is little bitty pieces coming off, and it's, well, how can I else how else can I say it than just do this? It is frayed all over the place and it looks almost like it was blended. Like if you put it in a blender and it starts to get kind of slushy like. So you, <laughs> you can't deny the fact that the PDX1 is going to leave more trauma. So in the end, PDX1 wins this battle for sure. I think we all understood that was going to happen, but it is well worth the extra money you spend for these home defense rounds rather than spending a little bit less. Um, or a lot less for the basic hollow points. Um, these are always going to be more trauma than uh, than ball ammunition, but still, if you had to pick between the two, PDX-1 by Winchester is a great round, strictly from the, in the fact that the trauma it causes is more of a blending effect. It just tears up whatever it hits compared to the smoother cavity you get from basic hollow points. So PDX-1 rocks. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please, up in this corner, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this uh, ballistic shell test, please like, favorite, and share this video in the bottom left-hand corner. If you like my videos, please go to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash GY6pro, and go to my uh, Twitter page or Twitter account. I don't really care for Twitter. I think it's kind of retarded. But it's nice for you guys to keep up to date with what I'm about to do and the up-and-coming videos that are coming. Um, that little uh, link that you can copy and put into the link bar above it should be right here as well. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.